Hey, welcome back. When you have a WooCommerce store and you're allowing uh, users to register or log into your website using the My Account button or page link, they will normally be greeted by a screen that looks like this. And unfortunately, because this is part of WooCommerce, there is practically almost nothing you can do with Elementor Pro to modernize or stylize this. Now there are other widgets and plugins out there that you could use, but what if you don't wanna do that and you just wanna use a bit of code? Well, I'm gonna show you how you can change the styling of the font and the color of the button within, um, uh, well, within your WordPress Elementor to make it work for you. Okay, so, this is what we're gonna try and modify, okay? And I'm looking at this on a private browser window just so I can show you what we got. Let me just go back to my normal live page. So, first thing you can do is if you go to just basically any page in your website in Elementor, doesn't matter where you are, okay, you can modify the title. So if I go to Elementor settings, site settings, in fact, and I go to typography, right? It's the typography one of your site settings. I'm gonna to go to H2. H2 is gonna be the title of your, you know, login and register bit of uh, the registration or the login page. I'm gonna to go to typography and I'm gonna change this to be Orbitron. And in fact, I'm gonna make it Orbitron. For, I'm just gonna do it ridiculous, okay? I'm gonna go Orbitron three, okay? And I'm gonna make the weight of it be about 900. I'm doing this intentionally in a bad way just to show you that it does definitely change. If we now update that, okay, and we go back to our private window and I hit return, can you see that the login and register has now changed to be Orbitron 900 weight? Um, well, basically you can see it on the screen. I think that's pretty self-explanatory, right? If you were to now go back into over your settings and change the body, that's gonna change the sizing for the body bit, you know, uh, let me just go back again. Let me explain what I'm talking about. All of this bit over here, password, username, all of this bit. But bear in mind, if you change that here, it will change it throughout your website as well. So have bear in mind about, do you wanna change it here? And then you're gonna have to make sure you've overwritten it within your Elementor website. What do I mean by overwrite? Well, you know, when you do a page and you got your sections and you put some text in, you might have to go in and do your typography there. That's okay if you want to do that, but I would probably say to keep it simple, just do your headers, and that's pretty simple. But what about the buttons? Now all you need to do is drop in a bit of code. It's dead, dead simple. There'll be a link in the description for where you want to get it. The simplest way to do it is just go to appearance and go to customize, okay? And then go down to additional CSS. And I'm just going to dump it down here. So here's the code. Um, you can modify the radius um, size here of three pixels to 20 pixels or whatever you want. The, the two key bits really are the color of the font. So I'm just gonna leave that as white, which is FFF or FFFFFFFF with six Fs. And the background color, I'm gonna change it to be FFA 900. I think that's orange. I'm pretty sure that's orange, okay? And we're gonna hit publish. So when we now go over to our screen, we should see that change. And there we go we now have orange buttons. And yes, you could argue, well, there's a lot more styling you wanna to do to that in terms of background images and things like that. You're gonna to have to go and look at some additional other bits of code and other plugins, but if you wanna keep it really simple, and I would say for login and register, you don't wanna mess around too much. Keep it very clean. You just want them to log in and register. Quite simply, don't overdo it with images and things that kind of confuse them, okay? Keep it simple, and if you do that, with a bit of branding in terms of the headers and the button color, it can fit with the rest of your website. Look, I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow, and I hope that helps you out. You take care.